Banyana Banyana suffered a 1-0 defeat to Zambia in the Kosafa Women's Championship final on Sunday afternoon. Banyana made a strong start and were denied an early lead by the woodwork before the Copper Queens had a decent shot for a penalty dismissed after coming together in the box. The Copper Queens did finish the first half strong enough and could have seen the lead from a start shot around the box by the tournament's top scorer Barbara Banda. But unfortunately, she missed the target. Banyana Banyana leashed the substitution minutes into the second half with Pusisiwe and Dimendi introduced into the field. Uh, with uh, our progress, because <clears throat> I think this is a team that uh, is definitely showing uh, strides of progression because we came into this tournament with zero preparation. When I mean zero, literally, only two days to, to play. We came on the 28th. First session on the 29th, 30th, 31st, we needed to kick off with our tournament. So um, this morning in our pre-match, I said to them, uh, this is our friendly game number five for 2020 something in preparation for another tournament somewhere else, you know. But I think the match went really well. As more additions from the host teams arrived in the second half, the deadlock still proved hard to come by, though, and thus a period of extra time was needed to settle the final. Zambia were first on the attack, early on in the additional period and found Banda creating a yard of space for herself in a smart area before firing just wide of goal. Banda was at it again minutes later when a powerful drive from a corner kick worked the opposition number Dineo Makukula. I think the match went really well. Uh, we, we actually got tested the way we were anticipating because we knew that Zambia was trying was going to try to get on the ball from the back and be able to launch those attacks between our center backs and our full backs to try and find Barbara Banda and I think um, if we had just assigned one player to take care of Barbara we would have shot ourselves on the foot but because all the players on the on the pitch we said to them if she comes too close to you pick up we shouldn't just shift um, responsibility and I think all those players out there they played for each other uh however Banda made the breakthrough in the 108th minute after turning home across from Margaret Belemu for her 10th goal of the tournament Banyana failed to make a comeback in the closing exchanges and saw the Copper Queens to the victory to their fourth Kosafa crown Malana Shlikan for Soweto TV Sports